so we will see the development of export system in this section now we have seen the export system is growing uh, so widely and it is used so widely in the era because it is giving us the uh, exact user interface so the process of export system development is iterative and the steps involved in the export system are identifying the problem domain designing the system developing the prototype test and refining prototype develop and complete export system and maintain the system so the step 1 is the identify problem domain so we should identify the problem domain why because whatever problem is asked by the particular user should be suitable for that particular export system so the problem must be suitable for an export system to solve it as well as find the experts in the task domain for the export system project so in the identification of problem domain the expert should be find out so that we can have the exact answers for the queries establish cost effectiveness of the system so when we are having experts of that system we are identifying the problems of that system then we should establish the cost effectiveness of the particular system so that is the basic step of development of expert system the next step is designing the system so first we have to identify the expert system technology after that we should know and establish the degree of integration with other systems as well as database and we should realize how the concepts can represent the knowledge at the best level so all that things will come in the designing system step then developing the prototype so from knowledge uh, base we have seen the knowledge base so uh, we have uh, designed the system and now we have to develop the prototype so from the knowledge base we have to start it so the knowledge engineers works to acquire the domain knowledge from the experts then they represent it in the form of if then else rules means when we are developing the prototype it's the work of knowledge engineers to acquire the knowledge and represent that knowledge in the form of the rules that is if then if else etc that is the development of prototype then test and refine the prototype so after developing the prototype the knowledge engineer uses the sample cases for testing purpose so they are using the sample cases to test the prototype for any deficiencies in the performance that means they will identify if any deficiency is there the end users test the prototypes of the expert system so after testing if any deficiency is there then again the refinement is done and then end users test the prototype of the expert system develop and complete the expert system so test after testing we are getting the deficiency we are overcoming that and we are ensuring the interaction of the expert system with all the elements of the environment including the end users database and other information system we have to document the expert system project so that we can able to train the persons for the expert system and the last one step is the maintenance of the system so we have to keep the knowledge base up to date by regular review and update because all of us knows that the technology the data the new data is coming uh, in day to day life so we have to keep our knowledge base up to date so for that we have to uh, do the regular review and after regular review according to need the knowledge update knowledge base updation should be done cater for new interfaces with other information systems as those systems evolve so we have to cater the new interfaces as well so this catering of new interfaces will be done as is done with another information systems as the systems evolve to each other that systems evolved with each other that's why the maintenance of system we are trying to cater the new interfaces 
so this is all about the development of an expert system in our next section we will see what is knowledge engineering thank you